So in that last one, we got our model working. Um, so we can add admins, we can add our details to the admin as much as we want. Um, now I'm gonna introduce the views. So basically we're gonna be able to allow anyone to register their email. Um, it's gonna be very simple. Uh, it's not gonna be that complicated. And it's gonna be based off of this model. So this data, basically. Um, now, before we do that, we need to go into our settings file. We need to set where our templates are gonna be located. And I'm gonna put this down by our static URL down here. So we'll do template location. I'm just gonna make a little note for it. And we'll do template DERS. And this is a tuple, so make sure you use the parentheses there. And we're gonna do OS path dot join. And then we're gonna do OS path dot dir name. And we're gonna use base dir. So um, and then we'll do static and templates, put a trailing comma. Perfect. Okay. So what's happening here? It's going to join the path of the folder that is one up the base directory. And then it's going to look for static and then under static, it's going to look for templates. So what's the base directory? If you remember, we looked at it before. Um, it's this so it's basically taking where the file of the settings is it's looking at that folder and then it's going to go up one more folder which base directory is also where the project root is so that's where that is we want it to be up one more where source is so it's outside of the Django app um, you can also hard code this so writing out if we go into terminal here, we're going to change back. We're, we want to have the static folder in here. So if we do PWD, it's going to show us exactly where we are right now. So another way to do that exactly is like this static templates. OK, so this is doing the exact same thing. All right, so I'm actually going to comment that out. I'm just going to leave it so you guys can reference it later and then if we want we are going to reference this one as well just so you kind of know what's going on here and if we change into source and then into MVP landing sorry if we go back and then to PWD this is the same as that so base directory and PWD gives us that full path. And that's pretty simple. Um, it, it's, it can be a little complicated, of course, but the directory is basically going where the file is, the current file, it's going into that directory, and then it's gonna go up one, and then that is that directory, which would be this. So going up one out of this directory into here. Okay, if you have any questions on that, of course, let me know. Um, but back to template DERS, we notice that we have these two directories or two folders basically that don't actually exist. So if we close the source, we don't have it here. So we can do file new folder and static. Okay, so that's there. And now we can do file new folder and templates. Okay, now it's in there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a new one, new file and we'll call it signup.html. And if you are familiar with HTML and CSS, this is a normal HTML document. Um, so what we'll do is we're gonna render it as such, doc type, HTML, and then HTML. I'm not gonna worry too much about the HTML stuff at this point because we are gonna add Twitter Bootstrap later. Uh, but for now, we wanna actually get everything else working so all right and then h1 this is html stuff save that okay um or how about let's change it to join now all right cool so we need to actually render this html file 
and we need to render it when somebody goes to some URL. Uh, make sure you save your settings file and there will be a little star there if you don't save it, right? See that star? Um, so make sure you do. And all right, so now we're gonna go into URLs and we need to figure out a URL that's gonna render this signup file. Let's do it on our main home page URL and let's uncomment this. Cool, so now we have MVP landing. Okay, so it's going into this app or folder and then it looks for views, but I don't see a views file here. Um, we could make one, but we don't wanna do that. We wanna keep all the signup views within the signup app. So let's actually change this to signups. So now it's going to the signup app and it's gonna go into views and then it's gonna look for a view called home. So let's open up views. We don't have anything called home. So define home and it's gonna take in a request so a URL request. So if anyone goes to that URL, it's called a request. And then it's got to return something. Okay, so basically what's happening here is when you go to this page right here, this is the slash, that's the home page, the index page, whatever. You go right there, it's going to take you to this view because of what we just defined it as. So this is defined right here and it's basically taking that slash uh, and going directly there okay so to test this out let's just show you go run server and this is that url right there that's the exact one so if we go back into chrome paste it in it's going to say it didn't return an http response object that's because our view is not finished now we need to finish it so import just put a comma after render and then do render to response and request context. And then what we're gonna return is render to response and it's gonna use our signup.html template and we'll do locals context instance equals to request context of the request. Make sure you have the two parentheses. Let's actually separate these so you can see nice and clearly. There we go. Um, okay, cool. So if we save that and we go back into Chrome and do a refresh, look at that. Our HTML template comes through just fine. Um, cool. So this is great, but we don't see a form here. Now, if you know HTML, there are ways to do um, forms and you basically put it into a form and then you can do input type equals to text and that will show us a, a text box and then we can do input type equals to submit and that's like a submit button to submit the form. Of course, it says a question mark because we haven't set anything yet. So we want a method of post and then a action, oops, no comma, action equals to that. All right, so if we click that, ah, we get this CSRF verification failed. And then we have all this stuff that we would need to do within our data here. So I'm actually gonna get rid of this. Okay, and now we're gonna make a form based off of our model, also known as a model form. And we will set that in the next one.